there! I'm Shri and welcome to the Educator Resource Series for Piper Make. Today I'll be guiding you through this tutorial. Let's get started. Let's go ahead and hit that traffic light icon on Piper Make. The first thing we're going to do is gather all of our pieces. We'll need some wires, some LEDs, and some resistors. Let's go ahead and open up Digital View. This allows us to see all of the pins of the Raspberry Pi Pico and makes things a lot easier when we're trying to plug stuff in. So to start, we're going to build our red LED. First, put in your LED with the long end in the correct position. For more information about this, check out the tutorial. After that, grab a resistor and plug in the end of the LED to the ground rail of the breadboard. Confused about what the ground rail is? There's more details in the tutorial as well. Then go ahead and grab your wire and plug in the other end to pin 15 of the Raspberry Pi Pico. Now to ground the whole thing, make sure you add in your black wire to ground on the Raspberry Pi Pico. After this, let's go ahead and build our other lights, the yellow and the green. Keep in mind, it actually doesn't matter what color wire you're using here, but for style points, maybe we just go ahead and use the color wire that matches the color of the LED. Set the lights up the same way you did with the red one. Make sure that your resistors are plugged in correctly, and don't worry if it's a little bit hard to push the resistor into the right place. Just make sure that you've got the wiring down the same way you see on the tutorial. It's starting to look like a traffic light, right? You'll see that each of the lights are plugged into different pins of the Raspberry Pi Pico. That's what lets us control them separately. After you've got everything hooked up, it's time to start coding. Make sure you plug in your Raspberry Pi Pico. So to start coding, drag out a start bar, drag out the turn on pin block, Drag out a weight block. Make sure you get the right weight block. And then go ahead and drag out another turn pin on block. These three blocks together are what let you turn a light on and off in our system. And since you have three lights, you're going to have to replicate this three times. The easiest way to do this is to right click and hit duplicate and then make sure that you change the pin numbers to match each of the lights. So if our first light, if our green light was pin 13, then for our yellow, we want to make that pin 14. And our last one is going to be pin 15. Now change the time intervals to change how long each of the LEDs stay lit up. And because we want this entire thing to keep looping instead of just lighting up once and staying that way, drag out the repeat wall true block and drag all of your code into it. Now let's get started. Connect your Pico and then hit start. Let's see what happens. Awesome, look at it go. Remember, you can change your wait times to change how long each is lit up. All right. 
Now it's time to add in a button that basically will act like a pedestrian button at a crosswalk. Essentially, we want this button to stop the light at red for a specific amount of time. So to do that, let's build our button first. Grab a push button from your bag and plug it into your breadboard. Make sure you wire this correctly. For more detailed instructions on the wiring, check out the tutorial. Now the button doesn't need a resistor since it's an input. Now go ahead and drag out a wait until block right below that pin 13 block. Now we want this to detect when the button is hit. So change that to pin 12 and then change the wait time. Now, if you hit start, you'll see that whenever you hit the button, the light will stay on red for an extended period of time, allowing our pedestrians to safely make their way across. So with this simple code, we've learned the basics of how a traffic light and a pedestrian crossing can work. Ask your students to reflect on where they see other types of wait steps like this and then ask them to mess around with the wait times to see the least amount of time that a pedestrian can make it safely across a big intersection. Thanks so much for joining.